As the first waves of Hurricane Florence uh, rolled in, flood water has entered North Carolina and the United States. The white-capped flooding lashed homes and buildings and drowned street signs with occasional residents braved the wind in the town of Swansboro. The hurricane is located about 165 miles east of Martel Beach in uh, South Carolina with maximum sustained winds of 105 miles per hour. The center of Florence expected to hit North Carolina's southern coast around midnight on Friday and then drift southwest before moving inland on Saturday. A video shared on Facebook show flooding and strong waves crashing in to residential beach areas in North Carolina. According to U.S. National Hurricane Center, the center of Florence is expected to approach the coast of North and South Carolina later today. Wind and waves are driving seawater through some coastal streets like rivers. Nearly 30,000 people in North Carolina already are without power that number is rising. The storm is not yet here, but these are the early warnings of the days to come. Surviving this storm will be a test of endurance, teamwork, common sense, and patience. And joining me for more is Giles Gibson, correspondent live from North Carolina. Giles, what is the situation there and how powerful is this storm really compared to the other storms that America has seen in the past? Well, we've seen the weather deteriorating here in Wilmington, North Carolina, steadily throughout the day. You can probably see behind me the rain is really starting to come down now, and we're also getting uh, gusts of wind starting to blow through the city. Uh, in terms of how this compares to uh, other storms that have hit the United States in recent years, this was actually downgraded to a Category 2 storm uh, after being all the way up at Category 4, which is the second highest hurricane rating earlier in the week. So uh, in terms of the wind power, uh, that's certainly lessened and that's less of a threat. But really, there are still big threats coming towards the east coast of the United States in the shape of the amount of rain that's going to be dumped down on areas all in the sort of surrounding areas all around me. Uh, so we could see a lot of flooding uh, and a very big storm surge as well. Right, guys. Also, I can see right there, uh, we can see live visuals where you're standing. It, it's raining. I can hear rain, uh, very he heavy rain pounding where, uh, where you are uh, reporting from. But tell us more about uh, the flooding situation and how are the authorities trying to make sure that uh, it's a smooth process? Are people being evacuated out of North Carolina? And uh, what's the future plan of action by the government? Well, the flooding situation, I can tell you, we were down uh, by uh, the water's edge in Wilmington here. It's a little inlet which uh, is about a mile uh, inland from uh, the open sea. And we were standing down there reporting over the course of the afternoon. And we were visibly watching uh, as the water levels rose uh, in that inlet. So I think in the coming hours we could see uh, down there the water sort of coming up over the pier and maybe spilling out onto the street. Uh, in terms of how the authorities here have been managing the situation, the message for much of the week was evacuate. Uh, if you uh, don't feel like you want to wait out the storm, get in your car and drive to uh, nearby family and friends who are uh, out of the uh, sort of uh, out of the threat so to speak of the storm now that the storm is starting to arrive the message is shifting from the authorities and they're now saying that the time is to get all your preparations in gear uh, and make sure you're hunkering down at home to try and wait out the storm over the next 36 or 48 hours Right, guys, you said that uh, the, we're expecting more heavy rains in the next 36 hours or uh, in the next uh, a day and a half. Uh, tell us more about how are the residents reacting to this storm in North Carolina. Are they afraid? Have they ever seen something like this before? Are they uh, serious about evacuating? Because sometimes the residents feel that the storm is not much of a threat. Is this happening there or they are really aware of uh, the strength of the storm? 
Well, I was telling you just, just now that uh, the storm has been downgraded over the course of the week from Category 4 all the way down to Category 2. Uh, and we were actually speaking to a couple down by the water's edge uh, a few hours ago. And they said that was one of the major factors in them not particularly being that concerned about this storm. Uh, a Category 2 to them wasn't such a big deal. Uh, the contrary message that we're getting from the authorities here uh, is that even though those wind powers will be much downgraded, although they'll still be pretty powerful uh, around 100, and 100 miles per hour, uh, the message from the authorities is that so much water is going to be dumped on this area that there could be a lot of flooding. Uh, and I mentioned that storm surge earlier. They're talking about uh, that storm surge going up to around 13 feet in some places, which, to give you some context, is uh, as high as the second story of your average building. Right, Gail. Just hold on uh, for a second there. We're getting a tweet from the White House. The U.S. administration has signaled that the disaster response team is ready. The tweet says, and I quote, as devastating storms approach the southeastern coast, the Trump administration disaster response says more than 4,000 federal employees is strong, including more than 1,000 from at FEMA. So tell us more about the disaster response team, uh, Giles. Well, we heard from a little bit earlier on a very senior official, a very senior politician in this county, uh, in the area surrounding Wilmington, uh, this city in North Carolina. And he said he'd actually just gone off the phone with President Trump at the White House and they were discussing with the governor, the state governor of North Carolina uh, about the response so far and the preparations that are being put in place. Now at the same time uh, as the Trump administration are trying to show that they're very prepared for this storm, uh, Donald Trump is also facing controversy over his reaction uh, to another storm around a year ago which hammered into Puerto Rico. Uh, President Trump is insisting over the last few hours that the uh, death toll that's been estimated for that at around 3,000 people uh, in Puerto Rico is, is not accurate uh, and that it's essentially people trying to undermine his administration by putting out such high death tolls. So we're arguing about the impact of a previous storm, as you can see, as this one starts to uh, hit the North Carolina coast.